My name is Noah Spence. I did a study on the Illinois Veteran Affairs Service Offices in the state of Illinois. Um, I analyzed where the service offices are and the percentage of veterans in each county and how the Department of Veteran Affairs could better serve their veterans with the locations of their offices. The problem is the, based on the availability and locations of the offices in the state of Illinois, the offices are way too far, uh, few and far between, to best serve our veterans. Today we're going to look at the locations of the service offices in the state of Illinois, which offices should be changed to full-time status, which counties uh, should open service offices in their courthouses, and the population of each county and the percentage of veterans in that county. Who could use this information? Obviously, Illinois Veteran Affairs, this would be a map for them. Uh, veterans in Illinois to know where the service offices are and how close they are in relation to the office. And then any count, uh, county or state government to look at possibly what the state of Illinois is doing to try to better serve their veterans as well. My data sources are the uh, U.S. Census Bureau. Uh, I got my county shape file and county populations from them. Uh, the IDES for the uh, unemployment rates and Illinois Veteran Affairs for the locations of each service offices. I don't have a slide displaying what types of analysis, but a few types of analysis that I used were obviously data acquisition. I got all my data from these sources. Um, I had to geocode the addresses of every service office in the state of Illinois because I could not find a shapefile that had each service office as points in a format that I could use. I found it for Google Earth but was unable to convert that file into a shapefile to use. I then, uh, another tool I used was a buffer. My goal is to have no veteran have to drive more than 20 miles to reach a service office to receive service. So I, around each service office, I created the 20-mile buffer and then analyzed what counties were best covered uh, to serve their veterans. The data types that I have, it's mainly vector data. Uh, I have the county shape file, I have the interstates in there, and I have the uh, service offices as, a, as points. My data attributes. The acquired uh, values that I got were counties, interstates, service offices, unemployment rates, county population, and capital city. And then the uh, values that I had to calculate myself and create new fields for were the percentage of veterans in each county. I created the buffer zone, and I also created the recommendations uh, for the service offices and the counties. These are my first two maps. Uh, the map on the left displays the population by county in the state of Illinois. You can, this map clearly demonstrates how much Cook County skews the uh, scale for my map. On the right is the percentage of veterans by county. And this really puts things in perspective on, yes, Cook County may have more people, but as far as number of veterans and percentage of veterans, downstate dominates. Unemployment in the state of Illinois. I found almost a direct correlation in the southeast and central regions as far as unemployment to percentage of veterans. Um, this, I, I thought this would be an interesting analysis. It was actually uh, recommended by uh, Dr. Rudabaugh. And I, I just found it kind of interesting that there was such a direct correlation between the two. All right, the map on the left shows the locations of the veteran service offices in the state of Illinois. Um, the red dots, which I understand they're kind of hard to see, the red dots here and all around uh, represent incremental service offices. Incremental service offices are open twice a month, and you know they, they're just there for convenience, I guess. Uh, the part-time offices are represented by the yellow dots, and those offices are open typically once a week. And then the green dots are full-time offices that are open um, five days a week, 
normally eight to five. The map on the right is all of the service offices with a 20 mile buffer zone around them. This shows that clearly the Chicago area and most of the northern counties are pretty well covered, but when you get into the western and southeastern and central counties, they're not as well covered. And these are my recommendations for the uh, Illinois Veteran Affairs. The counties that are highlighted here, in, well, I guess it's pink, uh, those offices, or those counties do not have any service offices at all. And there is actually, uh, those counties have a high percentage of veterans uh, in their county. And then all of the offices that I have here, here, and there, I recommend those offices, those are incremental service offices that I recommend change to full-time status to better serve their veterans.